the floodplains of the Northern Territories in Australia, one of the last great remote regions in the world. Relatively untouched, this remote expanse is beyond the edge of nowhere. I venture into this wilderness in search of Asiatic water buffalo. With my bow and cameras in hand, this is going to be an adventure. They went around this point, I'm gonna try to cut them off. Sweet, I made a good hit on that bull. I'm back. I'm up here, boy. Welcome to Mordor. I bet you want to see him, don't you? Boom, look at that guy. This right now. If I lose another big buck like that to these damn cameras. Patience is definitely a virtue that I have. More laziness. This thing's a tank. It's a bad day right there. This is the definition of wilderness, a place so big and vast, few have had the opportunity to venture through it. Where the ocean meets the savanna lies a great expanse of floodplain, holding a species of water buffalo, known for being as dangerous as the surrounding lands they inhabit. It's the tail end of the wet season. To make the long multi-day journey to the hunt area requires special permissions and a few vehicles to ensure that we get there and back. I drive out with my good friend and fellow bow hunter, Ben McDougall. Two days and hours behind the wheel, over dirt roads and navigating around flood zones, we find ourselves in a hunt area completely removed from modern civilization. New to the area, we pre-scouted the land with Ben's friend Shane Yates, soaking in his knowledge of the animals and the landscape, and take some time to fish for dinner between scouts. What kind of fish is that in there? I want to try them things. Oh, it's a shoot. <laughs> Whoa, hey. Give him nothing. Give him nothing? <laughs> Give him nothing. Show him his balls. <laughs> Get him. Uh -huh. Grab him by its mouth. <laughs> No, we should have brought. Like, yeah. Was. <laughs> Come on. The hunt. With one vehicle between us, Ben and I plan to head out each day, dropping one person off and the other taking the truck, each hunting separate areas. For a long time, it's been a goal of mine to take a mature buffalo with my bow, solo. No backup gun, no help, just myself and the animal. There's an allure to buffalo hunting. The area itself has a draw. It feels as though you've traveled back in time to a place with real and ever-present danger. With a big animal and a bow in your hand, it means you have to be constantly on your game. I just got dropped off. And I've got a bull working up here. He just wallowed. He's moving pretty quick. Uh, I don't even know if I'll be able to catch up, but I'm planning on working that way anyway. Out here, you are on your own, and it immediately becomes apparent how vast this area really is. The bull just met up with the other bulls. I strike out in search of a mature bull, bow in my hand and pack full of cameras to capture the adventure. The trouble is, the buffalo seem to be constantly on the move, 
making getting in on them and setting up a camera problematic. Wow, the bulls, they move fast and it's hard to... You almost see them feeding towards you and then to cut them off. Just disappeared in this, you would think. Man, well that big one disappear, but instead of trailing that one, I'm gonna get up to the flood plains up here. Uh, you know, I could keep trying to dog that one, but I'd rather just see if there's some that I can get a better position on. I'm 45 yards from this buff. On these plains, the wind is as finicky as anywhere, and the buffalo have eyesight like you can't believe. It doesn't take much to get busted. Either a slight whiff or it just saw me at the wrong time. His head was behind some stuff and I thought I'd move up, get the camera set up, and kind of pegged me. This morning I got dropped off in this area. I'm just going to work it uh, on alone. My plan is to walk through this real thick forest stuff to the floodplain out here and then follow the floodplain back maybe four miles, um, hoping to catch some bulls as they move back from the wallowing and the feeding out the floodplain to the thickness of the trees and cover. Uh, it's fairly early in the season right now, so there's a lot of water, which kind of means that the animals are pretty spread out. So the sightings between bulls are a little bit few and far between. On the plus side, a lot of them will be by themselves, um, as opposed to herded up around one little source of water. It's a lot of swirling wind in here. Just reached the floodplain. See some buffalo out in the distance. The good thing about this is uh, I can see the buffalo from a long ways away. The bad part is they can see me from a long ways away as well. I don't think I'll be able to stalk them out in the wide open, but I might catch some feeding on this edge. So I'm just going to work the edge back toward the ocean and uh, keep my eye on some. If I see where they go, I might be able to cut them off, make an ambush. and got up and made a beeline. I was actually moving around the other direction and he just came around the opposite way, winded me. 
as soon as I get up and go, he picked up and started walking right to where I was. Sucks. The buffalo are proving more difficult to get on than I was expecting. The swirling winds and constantly moving animals are making it hard to get within range and get the camera set up before they move off or the wind shifts. Adding the single step of filming is making it exponentially more difficult, especially because I'm trying to get within 30 yards or less. So the hunt continues. After spooking out the good bull, I hike the four miles back to camp to meet up with Ben and take the truck to a new spot. In transit, we spot a perfect meat bull in a good location. So I take the opportunity to set up the camera and take the shot. Okay, well, um, earlier today I shot a young little buffalo uh, for Ben to take back to town with him for his freezer. And uh, just a little bull, an eater bull. And uh, he ran out and died in the swamp, unfortunately. So uh, me and Ben are gonna get the ropes and watch out for crocs and try to tow him out of here as quickly as possible. Ben comes with the truck. We found the pool back here, and uh, we'll see how it goes. We just got the buffalo out of the water, and now we're gonna butcher it up and get the meat uh, back to the camp. After dropping Ben off, I continue to a place where I've seen the majority of the bulls. It is getting down to the wire, and I have yet to get an opportunity at a mature animal. The next few encounters will be a make or break for the trip. to a floodplain, work this stuff. The wind's good for now. Uh, hopefully I'll find a big bull. This looks awesome in here. I'm 
surprised I haven't seen a buffalo yet. Just wallow after wallow. Thick cover. Good grass. This looks like good country here. There's gotta be some bulls in here. There's a buffalo up here feeding. Ah, the wind's not great. It's just kind of moving everywhere. <clears throat> I'm just going to make a dash for it and see if I can get position. Got to cut the wind off. This is the best opportunity I've had the whole trip. I make a break for the bull before he moves off or the wind shifts. This could be my last chance. catching my scent from the swirling wind, but seemed confused on where it came from. I quickly move around as he stays focused on the area where he ran from. I take the opportunity to set one camera on the bull and take my other camera in for the stop, in hopes that he stays in the frame as I slip around closer. Exactly where I wanted, so hopefully uh, 
goes down right over here. He ran quite a ways. Uh, but I think I'm just gonna leave him for tonight and come back first thing in the morning. I head back to where I shot from and immediately pick up the blood trail. I follow the trail till the blood becomes scarce and resort to following the tracks. With a massive number of tracks on the plane, it turns into a game of persistence, analyzing each track I encounter. But in the end, persistence pays off. No way. Right there is the bull. I was getting nervous. I honestly didn't think I was gonna find him. Oh, sweet, man, I am so excited. Ah, oh, thank you. Just, he's awesome. Broomed off on this side, busted, wore down. It's a great bull. Multiple angles, take two, because I forgot to hit record. Two cameras.